Typical New Yorker. I love New York City. I think it's a great... Do you like New York here? You do. Yeah. Great. Especially in the summertime, we have the outdoor cafe, so we can eat and watch people pee at the same time, which I find. <laughs> no, just kidding. I love New York. I know, I think New York is the greatest city. And I always like to tell my audiences, because a lot of people don't like New York, and the greatest thing about New York are the people here. I mean, there are so many interesting characters walking the street. The other day I was walking down the street, this Hindu woman walked right by me. She had dyslexia. She had a dot on the back of her head. It was really weird, so you got to keep your eyes open. Uh, but the good thing about any religion, the family gets together. Families are great, but my father does say the stupidest thing. Last time I'm home, he looks at me across the table. He goes, you know, I love that new movie. We just rented it. It was great. That movie, Sunstroke, Moonstruck. <laughs> Then he calls Perrier water Perrier, right? So he asks me for a carafe of Perrier. Like, Dad, we only have club soda. You want some club soda? He's nuts. My father's crazy. Well, that's right. You know what the good thing about Alzheimer's disease is? You meet new people every day, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Family stuff. We never hug either. I have never hugged my parents. No, I hugged my father once. It was my high school graduation party. Well, I was choking on a cocktail, Frank, but that's beside the point. I thought it was really... <sighs> my Aunt Sylvia is the nut. She is the nut case. She, I went home, all right, we're home a few weeks ago, and her husband died 30 years ago, and she can't get over it. So she turns everything that he owned into something. We're all sitting at the dinner table. She walks over to me. She goes, so, what do you think of this necklace? I'm like, it's nice. Dave's old belt buckle. <laughs> Then she goes, what do you think of these little round ball earrings? I'm like, I don't even want to know, all right? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> so it was my parents' anniversary. We went home for, we had a big party. It was, I got them the stupidest gift. Don't ever get your parents this for their anniversary. I got them an answering machine, which is so stupid because no one ever calls them except for their kids. So my mother put the appropriate message on the machine. Look, we're not here right now. If you'd like to leave a message, leave one. If you don't want to leave one, don't. We're not going to be making decisions for you anymore. You have to make up your own damn minds. Thank you. I hate shopping. I really hate shopping. I do. I can't. Salespeople are very annoying. Do you notice like when they work on commission, they have to make the sale. They won't leave you alone from the minute you walk in the store. I'm shopping today. I walk in. Hi, how you doing? How are you? Can I touch you? I go into the fitting room. I'm in there two minutes. Helga comes running in. So how we doing? <laughs> we are naked with a belt on. Okay? Thanks a lot. <laughs> I looked at had shoulder pads in them too. You know, because shoulder pads, women are supposed to look more masculine, you know, more broad, more aggressive for the 90s. I heard that legs are coming out with new pantyhose with cups in them, and I think the combination. <laughs> no one here left at my cup joke. What is the problem? <laughs> Did you wear a cup in high school? <laughs> he still does. Thanks so much. How do you know? All right, cut. No, all the jocks used to wear cups. And guess all right. Guess what I was involved in, in high school? Just guess. No. I was a cheerleader. Yeah, right. All right. Anyway, no, I hated the cheerleaders. I hated the cheerleaders. I know. No, I hate it more than anyone. Remember those queer baits in the school musicals? Were they so annoying in high school? They used to get on stage, sing through their nose, act like they were so cool, and everyone would say how talented they were. <sighs> Everything has its season. <laughs> She is so talented. She is definitely going to make it. I was in the band. I was a band nerd. Remember the band fan? Band nerd? I was in the band. I love being, and I was batting in the band, which was horrible, because we used to sell candy bars for the band, so we could go on band trips at the end of the year. Remember this? They'd give us this huge box of candy bars at the beginning of the week. At the end of the week, I was like, Mom, look, yeah, can I have 50 bucks? <laughs> Get it, because I ate all the candy bars. <laughs> it's Judy Shaw. Actually, you can't be bad in high school. Then you get your high school yearbook. Everyone always writes the same thing in your high school yearbook. Don't so never change. Stay just the way you are. I'm thinking, yeah. 6'2", 220. Have a great career in the end.